Hello summoners and summonettes, go ahead in here, and today I'm bringing you a new reworked Kindred Jungle video, so let's go ahead and get right on into it. Picking up the machete refillable pot, as well as one of them, I'm going to have fun coming out. And already marked Pantheon, because I'm going to level 3 gank him super easily, level 3 gank him top. I'm just going to let Maokai know that, and you know, that's our intentions and whatnot. So, a couple things got changed on the Kindred here, hopefully they're not 5 stacking this bush already. Hit it! Oh, could have killed the ward. Rip. Alright, so basically her passive now makes her so every ability scale super, super well into the freaking game. You get four stacks and you get 75 increased range, which is huge. And then every four stacks after that, you gain another 25. And then it increases her Q attack speed, her W current health damage, and her E bonus missing health damage. So her E now can crit. If they're uh, below, I think, 15% health, yeah, you have 50% chance of critting. That's not that big of a deal, but uh, Minions have spawned. it's kind of cool. Her W now, instead of automatically always being underneath Kindred, which is still taking me some getting used to, you can actually tell where you want Wolf or Lamb, whatever it is, yeah, Wolf, to go. So it helps you either increasing your area of efficiency, you know, to Q and whatnot, rather tracking down enemies or potentially running away so I really like that change as well so right here I can put lamb you know this way so I can kite towards the uh, bot lane so we don't lose any time for our AD oh god did it just reset okay I got very close to resetting that would have been awkward all right let's go ahead and finish off this red buff we'll grab our Q and we're gonna head straight to our blue buff we're just gonna go buff buff Hopefully get a good scuttle crab spawn in the top side of the map and get a mark. That would be awesome. All right, so you can see here. Oops, I still that. I wanted to put the uh, the W farther up top so I can kite a little bit more effectively, but just ingrained into my brain that it comes out from underneath you, even though it doesn't anymore. We will smite that. Hopefully we'll get a mark right now on scuttle crab as we're killing it. That would be tight. Oh, baby, we're super lucky. So right there, I'm placing Wolf a little bit lower because I know Scuttlecrab's going to kite down once I start hitting it, so that gives me a little bit more wiggle room. I'm going to come gank top right now. I'm not even level 3, but this guy's just asking for it. I don't have my E, but ooh, this is really good. Let's go ahead and place our Wolf. He's got a knight there. He's going to kill you. Okay, just kidding. We got the kill already. So let's push this guy out because he has no TP, and we will try and... Deny him a wave. I'm not gonna try and take your minions, bro. Well, my red buff took that. There we go. If he can base, that should collapse. Alright, I could just re gank as well. I'm gonna re gank top. So, what he can do is he could just base, teleport back, and then we can kill the Pantheon again, and that'd be dirty. I wanna mark Soraka though, because I think that's my next plan of attack. Yeah, I know it's pushed, homie. No, ETP back and we kill. This guy's never heard of the good old regank, homie. Alright, so we're gonna sneak into this bush here and be a super butt to this pantheon. Because now he's actually hard pushing. We're gonna collapse on him and kill him on this wave right here, probably. Alright, that's good. That's what we needed to hop right there to start, and now this guy's just gonna die again, probably. Oh my, and the fail flash, dude. We're gonna do some DM on top of that guy. Ooh. He's tilted, man. He's like out of the game right now. Alright, two free kills, and we can just base. One thing I haven't decided if I like or not is if I go Warrior or Bloodraiser. I've played two games on the Rework Kindred. One was an actual game, and then the other one was a double jungle game, so I can't really take into account if that one was actually good or not, but. We just have 1,400 gold, so I'm going to buy a uh, Warhammer and Boots here and go with that. We will see if the Skullcrab's alive. I highly doubt it, but I'm going to kill my Wraiths on the way there. Oh. Actually, let's go for a little bit of a uh, Rex uh, damage here. We will kill the Scuttle, or sorry, his little tunnel while we kill this little Raptor. Yeah, he killed Scuttlecrab because I can see the mark isn't on the map available for me. So let's go ahead and roll down to the bot lane. Maybe we can get a blitz uh, grab on. Wait, he doesn't have flash. He has ghost. 
If we can get onto this Sriracha, that'd be dope. Oh, she gets snared. She's gonna die here, probably. So we're gonna go for her. We're gonna auto attack the Jinx just once so we can potentially get one more auto attack, baby. Oh, gets the double kill. I snuck in there for that KS on the Jinx, and then I was able to actually finish off the kill on the Soraka there. So we got her mark as well. Freaking awesome. We're gonna mark the Jinx now and try and show up and kill her. So we're already at three marks. If we get four marks at like level five and have 75% increased range, that is insane. I have two smites, that's pretty bad. Never like sitting on two smites just because, you know, you're wasting a cooldown that you brought. Alright, let's go ahead and finish off these Krugs, and then I forgot what they were called for a second. And then we will base here again, and hmm, can't get enough for this. I wish something was alive for me to try and... Oh, I'm going to be so mean. I don't have any mana, but I'm just going to sit here and try and, one, regank, but two, I wanted to steal their, uh, actually I wanted to steal their farm. We'll ward over the wall and pop that blast gun. I think that's a really, really great thing to do. Ooh, nice. This is what we need. Some juju berries. Give me some mana for this potential gank. We'll leave that last one. And let's just go right there for the... Uh... Oh, go, go, go. She's just warning. Go, 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 go. Oh, baby. That's a mark right there. She's going to die here. And I should... Oh, I almost didn't have enough mana but that last auto attack. We're at four marks, baby. We're 5-0. and oh. <laughs> The score's 5-0. I didn't even realize that. What the heck is going on? So, look at the stats. We're level 5. 75, 75 increased range. 20% increased attack speed on Q. 2% for the other abilities. And we have our warrior now. And we can just start stacking attack speed. Absolutely insane start. And we're marking Pantheon. We're going to get double buffs and go straight top again. Free mark, baby. So, I haven't popped off... I love Kindred. I played Kindred all the time when she was viable, or you know, just even okay, just meta, I guess, is the right word. So I'm pretty pumped that she's back in action here. But obviously, I'm pretty fed this game. I'm not too sure if uh, she's just really broken, or if you know, we're just popping off and whatnot. But this will be a good game just to see how controlling she can be. Because in the other two games that I played as her, I, uh, oh, you know, I was even. No, not so. This can uh, potentially give me the snowball feel, how hard I can snowball and whatnot. I would mark LeBlanc there, but she's just going to W away as soon as I show up, so there's no real way for me to lock her down and get the kill. We're just going to do a full clear up to that top side of the map, and then we will kill this Panther. And we got Red Smite now as well, so we have a lot of damage. We got some good attack speed going as well. So. Looking good to potentially dominate this map. Give me that boy. I didn't even need that, but I'll take it. Nice double kill in the bot lane. I'm just gonna solo this Pantheon. Level 6, he's level 6 average. He's face checking me right now, actually. So this guy's gonna die. We'll smite him up. I don't know if he has flash from his uh, previous encounter with us, but one more auto attack will do. That's gonna be a free kill. I. Yeah, his flash actually wasn't up from our regank, I don't think. I should have timed it better. Yeah, it wasn't up. It's up in 20 seconds, basically. I should have looked at that, but... He did not have flash, so... Easy stuff, baby. 6-0 and o with... Or, 5 marks. Getting marks off of his camps now is going to be pretty hard, just because Rek'Sai... Actually, never mind, it's reworked. Rek'Sai, she doesn't have the same... Oh, I was thinking she had her teleportation available. Let's go ahead and mark LBZ and see if we can get a freezy stack. Guess I should have marked Rek'Sai right there, but that's not how that works. I do have... Oh, we're in some trouble right here. Can we get the stack? Oh, we got a stack. We're good. It's all good, dude. Got the stack before we died. Actually, we got... I got it after I died, but whatever. I forgot Pantheon was in the game. I should not have gone for that gank. It was 2v2, but uh, Pantheon. Put them ahead of us with the extra man. Hmm. Now this is this is something that I'm not sure what the current meta kindred build is because I've seen everything. I've seen people go Ghostblade. I've seen people go PD, Renan, stuff like that. I really like Renans, but this team they have quite a bit of people who are going to be jumping on me: LeBlanc, Rek'Sai, Pantheon. So I'm probably going to go Phantom Dancer. Oh, duh, Bork. Bork would be a great 
great item on her, but uh, I'm, I don't think it would be too good this game just because I don't really have a tank. Maybe your XI could go tank, but this game I definitely want to go at least PD. Maybe we throw in a Bork as well, just to uh, have two attack speed items, but for now, we will be going PD. Who do we want to mark? Let's mark the Sriracha. See if we can get another stack, baby. Ooh, good root. Does he have curtain call? He does. Oh, go, 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 go her. She's gonna try and silence you? Yep, and yeah, that's gonna be her downfall. So that's gonna be another stack for us, baby. I could hop into that trap. I knew the Q was gonna proc that E and get the kill for us. Right, let's go ahead and get rid of this load. We'll see if there's a blast cannon available. No, there's not. It's a. Oh, god, that's like a level 2 skull cram. Rip. Let's go ahead and get this dragon, though. One thing I did notice is Wolf actually has been attacking outside of her range quite often on the W sometimes. So that's just interesting. I don't know if that's a bug or not. Like, she'd be attacking where my cursor is right about now in some of the other games I've played. Oh, wow, Rexai just suicided. Did she have blue buff? Oh, she did, because Blitzkrank has it, so that mark is not available to me. Alright. Let's clear out some of these tunnels, though, and grab her wolf while we're waiting. Alright. That's not good. When did that guy... Oh, I guess he got two kills in the in the mid lane. Forgot about that. She just W'd get her... Actually, we can kill. Wait, I just started hitting minions. What the fuck? I'm stuck? Shit game. I got stuck and I was just hitting minions, what the fuck? Alright, I just wanted to reset my gold value is really what happened. That was actually so weird. Did I hit auto attack move? Did I accidentally hit minions? And then I legit got stuck on that one minion. Weird. Who do I want to mark? Oh, that's a kill, goodbye. I'm gonna run straight to that mark. I'm just gonna go long con for that mark. We're actually gonna mark Rik'Sai and try and kill her in her own jungle. And go for that mark at the same time. And then we'll be able to clear our entire jungle on our way back. I'm gonna do a quick little wolf camp here while we wait. And then we're heading to those crags still. Hopefully to find Rek'Sai. Alright, let's hop this wall, and then we will t hopefully take a blast gun that I think should be alive. Can't confirm, though. Yeah, buddy. Alright, let's grab these real quick. Grab ourselves our 8th stack and increase in range. I don't really care if this guy jumps on me. It's not the end of the world for me. He does some damage, but... We got what we want. We got our stack, and we should be able to get out. I don't think LeBlanc is coming up the river. Nice. So now we have an increased 100 range, 40% attack speed, and 4 and 4 on the uh, W and E. So we got a lot of freaking damage, baby. Looking good, feeling good. Alright. Hmm. Maybe lifesteal would be a little bit good, though, as far as the uh, jungle player goes. Wait, I already killed these. Oh, I used my W thinking they were up. I was just spacing out. We'll pop brother. Ah, I didn't need to use a potion actually. If I'm gonna get red buff, we're gonna have crazy regen already, so that uh, use was not proper there. Alright, let's snipe this red buff real quick. Damn, Kendra just is such a good feeling champion, man. Ooh, I wish I could have got in on that Rexac kill. Let's go ahead and mark this rock and see if we can pick her off at some point. Do we even have... We only have one tower, which is surprising, because... Actually, I guess the game kind of got a little bit closer, because it was just a stop of me getting all the kills. But then Pantheon got a little kills here and there, LeBlanc got some kills. She just got dunked, so rip. Spoke too soon. How am I able to come into this rex jungle so deep and not get punished for that? That's crazy. Alright, let's go ahead and snag those wolves. I think Soraka's gonna be going mid. So, yeah, give me the kill. Give me another stack, baby. Oh, I actually got rooted. Damn. I was thinking I could just barely dodge that root. Wait, did that guy die? Oh, he all did. 
Got my alt off before, so maybe we'll live here. Oh, good flash. That was a hard flash, kind of. I think. Gonna go ahead and pop my W so I can hop over this wall. And hopefully just... Oh, we can kill this guy. What the heck? Oh! Oh, I got in on the money. Nice. Did my Q hit? I feel like that didn't hit. Let's go ahead and get Rift. Hurrah, baby. Rift is super easy to take. You can just solo Rift him on any competent jungle, to be honest. Rengar alt? What? Alright, I'm gonna solo Rift. Rift is a joke of a uh, neutral monster. Oh my god, we're destroying it too. And with our key, we can just hop behind it, dodge its claws. Easy money. Alright. <laughs> I hate this thing. It's so easy to kill, man. Just solo dolo. As long as you know how to do it, right? Free Rift Herald. Looking for a Sorok kill. I don't believe she has flash. We just got it, so... We're gonna press deep and potentially just come in with the Rift Herald as well. Why not use it here? I'm using it, baby. Oh, please stop her back. Damn. That would've been awesome if her back got stopped, but this tower is gonna fall because... We have Rift Herald slap chopping it to death. Oh my god, let's go for Inhib. The block's dead, it's just Rek'Sai and Jinx. We could dive, probably. I'm just doing some damage here, trying to force off the tower while Rift Herald beats it to death. Oh, can we get in on that rocket Oh, I'm chomped. I was like, why can't I move? Another stack. I think my wolf got that for me. Rift Herald just destroying their base at the moment. That's the power of Rift Herald. Nice grab under LeBlanc. Okay, not gonna happen though. Oh, she came back. Interesting. But they've already lost an inhib. This is a 17 minute inhib. Granted, we are a little bit, you know, ahead of the game, but... Okay, they're all gonna die here. Oh my, Dimaggio from the Bellagio. Triple kill? Triple nipple? And the inhib? Are we just gonna end the game? <laughs> is this the best? Is this the best Rift Herald ever? What was that? Okay, Jinx is gonna be up soon, so I do have to watch for SMD Rocket. But I think I'm healthy enough at this point. Where it's, I have 4,000 gold? What the fuck? When did that happen? Hello? Oh, and dragon spawn, so let's go ahead and... Yeah, it won't kill me. Okay. Let's go ahead and take that dragon for another stack. That'll be our 11th stack. I don't think I've ever had more than 10 stacks from Kindred in my life. So that's pretty crazy. This is only the second dragon in the game, and I already have... This will be my 11th stack. That's insane. Again, though, I need to use my... Uh, Smites better if I had two smites for quite some time now. Alright, let's get out of here. Jinx should be our 12th stack. That would be... Oh my god, where did this come from? Uh, let's just buy a frozen mallet straight up, I guess. <laughs> and we'll go Zerker Greaves, why not? And we'll buy another dagger, why not? We're attacking super fast now. And everybody's staying super slow. Well. I'd say we're fed. Hmm. Wonder if I could just like 1v5 if I play it right. Alright, we'll grab blue buff, even though we already have a blue buff. And we'll get a refresher, because why not? Uh, feels good to have some attack speed, or some more attack speed, I guess. Just kiting, I think, is like doing this, I think, is one of the most satisfying things in all the League of Legends. I can't talk. Just not taking any auto attacks, man. Alright, I can remark them. I'm gonna mark Pantheon to try and get in on the kill. I should have marked Rek'Sai, but it doesn't matter because Pantheon is left for me here and Rek'Sai is already dead. Boom. 12 stacks, man. Wait. The mark didn't complete in time. Did it? It's on cooldown. Oh my, it, it didn't complete in time. I should have waited. I put myself in combat and it... I'm bad at this game. It didn't officially mark the Pantheon, so we didn't get the stack. I really wanted the range. Okay, I was really scared that they might be cheesing me in the bush, but they're all back in the base. So I'm just gonna cut this wave really quick. Just helps us push a little bit faster, keeps our minions alive, keeps them hitting the towers. You'd be surprised how much damage minions do. Like, you see there? Wolf just attacked Jinx and she wasn't even close to that range. Pantheon back alive. He's going bottom now. Damn, Wolf just goes ham. Alright, looking for the blitz hook. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go Bork last item, actually. I I wanna get some life skill on me. 
Look at that range. That range feels crazy. What is our attack range? I don't even know how you see attack range on a champion. Pull up more stats or something? Nope. How do you pull up more stats? I don't remember. I just want to see my attack range. It feels really good right now. Alright, let's mark the Jinx. Because she's just going to be... Oh my! Is Karma fit? Where did that come from? Hello? Alright, looks like we're just going to tank up the tower. Should be able to finish it off. There we go. No one can finish it. Okay. Let's get that 12th stack, baby. We'll pop our potion now, because the fight's probably going to happen. Oh, I could have just killed myself. That could have been super bad. We're going to go try and finish off the Jinx. It's not going to happen. We're going to get our ult off, though. Absorb that SMD rocket. We'll heal up a little bit. Pop out of the ult. And we're living. We almost died. Got the kill. Got out. Got the in hit. Let's not face here. Sounds like a good idea to me. We will go do a little counter jungle while getting rid of the tunnel. I guess it's not imperative that you kill Rek'Sai tunnels anymore, considering she can't ult them. Uh, Jinx is just dead. Rip. Alright, we're gonna smite that for some health and try and join back in the fight here. Can mark another target in 10 seconds. Jin can get bot farm. Do I want a base again? I don't have enough gold for what I want, I don't think. I don't even know how much it's 3100. Okay. I guess I could go get my 12th mark off Baron. I'm down for that. 12 marks XP. That is absolutely nutty. Let's go ahead and hit this just so they don't have access to it. We'll pop that so they don't have access to that. Alright. This should die super fast because we just do way too much damage with our. Uh, percent health damage and whatnot. That was a bad smite, but whatever. 12 stacks now. 125 increase. Range. What is this game? I guess we'll just buy this and we'll sub this and go for... Where is it? East. Very nice. Alright, what does this damage do now? Oh, man. Plus 7.5% of their... Is that not with the passive in there as well? Plus another 6? So is that actually 13.5? That's kind of nasty if that is. Oh my goodness. I, I think that's probably included though. Maybe it's just 7.5. Still regardless, absolutely nasty. Alright, let's go for... I don't think we can get 16 stacks this game. The game will probably be over by then. I'm just going to roll up and start hitting people, dude. Alright, we're going to hit her with that bilge water. We do have our ult there. That was a really bad ult. I'm not even close to dying. I'm just going to go for Rek'Sai side while we wait. We're gonna flash out. I think the bonk's gonna try and come at me. Yeah, that was a really bad play by me. We almost lived. Rek'Sai ult killed us. I played that really bad. I like jumped on top of the Rek'Sai and got knocked up. But that's the game. Quadra kill for the Jin. 13, 3, and 9. I guess we shouldn't have gotten two assists. We could have finished with Elite. Let's buy our Bork though. Let's look like a uh, good player. Nice. Absolutely snowballed that early game though. Called kind of everything that would happen. Our Skullcrab spawn was amazing. We got a kill on Pantheon really early. Killed him again. So that really set us off with a nice first back. And we were able to have four marks at like level five, which is disgusting. I don't even want to look at the damage. S plus definitely should be an S plus kind of game. Damage was closer than I thought it was. I guess. I kind of slowed it down, but that early game was just disgusting. That was that was the best kind of game that I've seen out of either myself playing her or other people playing her, but she feels really good. I don't think this is like the exact proper build, but she feels really good again, which is awesome because she's probably one of my... She's definitely one of my top five junglers as far as favorite goes, but potentially a top five favorite champion of all time too, so... Awesome stuff. Let me know what you guys think of her rework. I really enjoy it. I think she's fun to play. I don't know if she's completely broken because I, I did snowball really hard. And a lot of people can shut her down. But uh, excited to have her back. If you liked the video, go and throw a like. I'll have all my other social media such as Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. As well as my smash shoes in the info box down below. And as always all, I'll see you all next time.